Our sun has a lifespan as well, and uh, end of the world warning, scientists pinpoint exactly when the sun will explode. Scientists determine exactly when the sun is expected to explode and how they predict that it will happen. Even though it's estimated that our star, our fiery ball of gas is going to die out trillions of years in the future, there will be many changes that will happen much sooner, heralding the end of our solar system as we know it, and scientists estimate that the sun's life, quote unquote, in its current phase known as its main sequence, will end about 5 billion years from now. In its current phase, the nuclear fusion of hydrogen inside the sun allows it to radiate energy and provide enough pressure to keep the star from collapsing under its own mass. And speaking to life science, astrophysicist Paolo Testa said, the sun is a little less than 5 billion years old, he said it's kind of middle-aged star right now in the sense that its life is going to be in the order of 10 billion years or so. Testa is an astrophysicist at the Center for Astrophysics, a collaboration between Smithsonian Astrophysical Observatory and Harvard College Observatory. According to NASA, in general, the larger a star, the shorter its life, although all but the massive stars live for billions of years. After the sun has burned through most of the hydrogen in its core, it will transition to its next phase, which will be a red giant. Deprived of the energy production needed to support it, the core begins to collapse into itself and becomes much hotter. Hydrogen is still available outside the core, so hydrogen fusion continues in a shell surrounding the core. The increasingly hot core also pushes the outer layers of the star outwards, this would cause them to expand and cool, transforming the star into what they call a red giant. Finally support my Patreon accounts. The daily posts are five videos daily, and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support, and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box. The expanding gas will gradually swallow the sun's neighboring planets, Mercury and then Venus, and eventually these gases will agitate the sun's solar winds to the point that they destroy Earth's magnetic field and strip off the atmosphere, thus killing all life on, on our planet. And to be able to predict the death of a sun-like star accurately, scientists needed to know how that star emitted energy. Now, doing so was difficult before they learned how to take nuclear fusion and solar masses into account. And Testa said, a lot of the science is relatively new, like the last century, because an integral part of understanding how a star works come from understanding nuclear reaction and fusion. Before the 30s, one of the main ideas of how stars worked was that energy was coming just from gravitational energy. By putting the Gather lots of, uh, together lots of different information from lots of different stars, astronomers and astrophysicists could build a model for how stars evolve. And this gives us a rather precise guess of how old our sun is. So these techniques allow scientists to accurately pinpoint when our star is set to collapse into itself. And this is by Express UK Anthony Ashkenaz. Please leave your comments and thank you for your support.